I'll just show you a very quick uh, technique from the white crane fist system of Kung Fu. In my training, okay, uh, in this, for my way of doing it, it's in my white crane fist. My white crane fist system, uh, for the information, just quickly, um, is basically, um, I, I do two different versions, two different fighting training ways of it, different styles. Um, one way is I train very deeply and um, train um, to blend the English, like my Wing Chun and my Tai Chi and Karate and everything to make it very deep and strong to train the wrists and stance work and everything, okay? Breathing and things like that. Going free, of course, but like taking the different kind of elements I've learned from like Karate, Wing Chun and different kinds of training I've done in the past in Kung Fu systems, okay? And then some some um, and breathing, not talking when you're doing it. But um, another way I like to train, okay, is um, training uh, to be free in a fighting way. So when you're fighting, you know, like um, kickboxing or whatever, you know, blinking or kickboxing, let's say, for example, someone comes to attack me, I can literally parry the same way. It looks like I'm just doing kickboxing, but they can't see the moves are concealed. So I'm trying to attack me, I'm like, block it in. It's not just taking the blows, like, Cracking his fist on my elbow, things like that, you know, it's deadly. Coming straight down the block in there, things like a punch straight in. The crane utilizes that. So if you're like karate guy, I don't think you can't do that. You can launch a punch in from your karate, from your horse stance, things like that. He comes to hit me, comes to hit me, I just cap it away, see? Absorbing that in on the side, see, things like that. I can come straight for a back fist or the wrist strike, see? Go for an arm lock, things like that, my knee in. So I'm working this whole structure. When I'm fighting like, in a kickboxing style, just working, through the punches, bam, bam, kicking, whatever. I can just come any time, just parry down, come out, it comes to grab me or punch me, I can grab that. I don't, I don't necessarily need to grab, but I just cover away, so the, the wings, one low, one high, or two high, two low, whatever way I can do it. So the wings of this bird here, so in my motion, bam, I can grab that, palm him in the gut, or go strap, punch him in the head, or boxing one. Elbow, this is my free for the way I'm doing the same, okay? It's not tro totally traditional. This is my second way I like to train. They're both my own version, but when it's coming, coming in, so be realistic about it. It comes to swing me, hook me up, blocking that boxing, normal, okay? I grab that, open up with two hands, so you go for a knee strike or a kick out. It's just like traditional Kung Fu, but it's still working with your style, you see? You come to push me or grab me, okay? I can just literally parry that, punch to the gut. It's like all this soft motion, you see as I'm doing it, it might sound funny, but it's like I'm working with this, looks like a monkey almost, but I'm coming in, sticking my punch to the gut, see, he comes to hit me and just come up here, see, cover it, looks like a monkey almost, but he doesn't know what I'm doing, see, I, I might grab that hand, step it in, he might have to push me, I might block that hand away, lift his elbow up there, that hand, two arms go past me, put my foot in front, if I feel he's falling down, you go flying there, I just sweep him there, you see things like that. Coming over again, whatever comes and just washing away. Someone comes to hit me, block here. So working all that style with really naturally, it's like any time. So I'm just working in, bam. When we tie whatever I'm gonna do, see, comes to hit me, a parry, elbow strike, boom, boom. A lot of people will say I'm just mucking around being stupid and I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm talking about and all this shit. But trust me, I do know what I'm talking about because it's saved me a lot of times in the past. I've been doing proper kickboxing with people. Hardcore training, I'm not boasting or anything. I used to get punched in my nose often <laughs> when I was training every night. Hardcore training every day, day in, day out, hours on end. At that hardcore kickboxing school I used to go to, I used to train with them really good kickboxers too, not people with thin, like me, tough guys, okay, uh, who've got a lot of experience in the martial arts. Some of them are like almost double my age. It was in there, young people too, older people. Bang it. And, excuse me, when I started using the white crow fist, what I was learning from another teacher in another school at the time, Kung Fu school, it, it worked. I found that it worked. Even though I had the gloves on, it was really working. And um, Demsley, my bro, hi Demsley, you know all about that, okay? Now, when, you, when you're coming in, see, I'll be, when you're doing sparring, of course, you can't use the deadly techniques. On the street, you can, you know, use more force for defensive in life if you need to. But if you are in a sparring in situation, kickboxing, if you've got the, the good thing is about the crane, you don't necessarily need to necessarily grab and go into the locks, you can just parry. So it's harder when you've got those boxing gloves on. But when someone's coming to attack, 
And I'm, you know, apparently I can still work my footwork in, and that's it naturally. I'm not saying you're funny, you're like an animal like this, and you just do that, because someone's going to clock you out, boxing your teeth in, and knocking your fucking spark off. I'm being serious. What I'm saying is, you're being natural in your movement, but you understand the structure. You train forms and different kinds of kung fu, you know, um, forms and like a karate cutters and things. It's very, very useful for your motion. Now, I've got socks on here, it's pretty slippery here, okay, on this floor. I'm just trying to show you basically. Um, someone comes to attack me and says, I'm all in naturally, normal fighting styles, normally, you know, whatever you do, spar, whatever, you know. He comes to hit, I can just block normally, block him, and he's like, boom, boom, working my techniques. He comes to hit me, I can literally parry his ear, catch him with my forearm, blocking in, see, here. My hand is still free, see. If that was a palm, I could palm him, see. I could bring that hand in, I say, catch over his arm here, see. From this side, it's this way, it's here, see. I catch him in, or two arms there, see. I could pull him into the knee or whatever, see. They have to literally parry that down. In traditionally, you'd be doing a punch over that, see, like that, see. This kind of thing. So it's very similar to Wing Chun, see. You're catching over, punching. You'll find techniques like this too, in styles like ninjutsu and stuff too, okay. And um, things like he's coming to hit me, I might use this kind of technique, which you'll find in Wing Chun, but you find in the crane too, see. But what I'm saying is he's coming in. I can block here with the wings of the birds, that's what you're doing. See, coming in with those elbows, close, cracking whatever's coming, knees guarding. It's like being trying again, see? So very, very centered, you know? And coming in, all the way up, things like that. Coming low, see, you can also kick and like, scoop it aside, see? Things like this. But you can still use it, so you just trap him up there and you throw him out, things like that. So traditional techniques, when you're doing that, you open it up here. And then pushing out, being like drills and stuff, you might see. You know, things like that, you know, like drills and stuff. If you're into the palm and things like that, you start, it's quite slippery here with the same, trying to show you. You can do that in your kickboxing. He comes to punch you, just parry it in, parry it in. If he's got a lot of power, just absorb that right in so it doesn't hurt me, catch him in and fly him back out or deflect it the other way, see. I can sometimes also like, just deflect him there push him off, so and things like that. So you're using this whole motion of your elbows guarding in and your hands free, see, to do certain techniques. Come to grab me and just block it on the side here. My hand's still directly aimed towards his head as he's, this is guarding his hand here. And I can just go that full slab straight to his head or that's directly, directly there with the pointy part. <coughs> see, if that was uh, on the street in self-defense, I'm just trying to say, yeah? Just come in, push me here, I block low. Your two hands helping each other, see? Oh, scooping away, scooping, see? Scooping. Bam, scooping here. Boom, see? Here, here, here. Oh, see from here, see? Whatever comes, you come to me low, see? I block down low like boxing, but it's like, I block here, my hand's still directly to his face. I'm not trying to say to you, see? You might come get another hand. I block that down, cover the two hands, this one comes straight in the same time. Bam, coming over the same thing, see? Using the two palms, see? So using the two palms. Always in the, wi in the wings of the bird and the palm. See here, this kind of thing. Straight in the head there, boom. You want to grab me in here. Turn the waist, just grab his wrist or elbow and slam that palm into there. If you a section here, chop to the neck. Just using that palm motion, see? Catch him under here and something under here. You have to push, you have to grab me on like catching his arm under here sometimes and you go from a lock or let you twist, step, slam him straight into the wall or sweep him as you go. Oh, so you might go flying back there. Elbow strikes can work too. And you're just using this whole motion, see, with the crane. And it takes a lot of training. The straight punches you can find it in the crane too, similar to Wing Chun again, as I say. And working all your motions and your movement. But to be flowing naturally, see, it's what I like to do and move naturally. Okay, so working with your techniques, as well as being so structural being a flowing kind of structure, okay? So what all your basics in, psychic, whatever, bam, bam. all that, we have reverse roundness, whatever you're doing, see, from, okay, bam. He comes to hit me, then he cracks his fist on my elbow. How we have slam that in, whatever. He blocks that and crack that hand away, see, whatever, put two hands in, see. It's very similar to when you're He comes to hit me there, locks it. And different motions with the right wrist here, see. But using all this motion, see, the hands together. So, it might look very funny, but that's how you fight when you're using it, okay? See? Just kind of motion here. See? Right here. See? Right 
Got it on here. Hit it on top. Grab that hand down. Smack him on the head there. Come to hit me here. Wash it simply away. See? If it's a snake, you come straight in, but you come with a punch. See? Come here again. Whatever cover, just deflect it either way. His hands. Straight in palm. Grab that one side. Keep that down. Sweep him down. No lock. You can work it with your karate. See? You know, things like that. And it might look very funny, but. It's very useful, I feel. Okay? From experience and using that, I'm saying in real life, fast kickboxing, when they're doing that to my face, I've been blocking, catching, and deflecting, trapping their arms up. So it might look like a monkey, but I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Because they come here, blocking here, see? It's very, very useful, a very free system of fighting, it's been natural. Okay. Still slamming the punches out and stuff. Okay. Still slamming out, see? Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... It's going to be coming out naturally, see? I mean, that's what I'm doing, I'm not joking around it. I'm not saying that, see? We're coming... Block, see? I'll block that, yeah? That's good already towards him, see? Parry that. Okay, so I'm working all these different techniques, see? So that's it. I need block in here. I'm going high, see? Step in and whatever I might be doing, see? Be in my centre. Okay, train on, stay, stay. More videos to come.